Prophecy 158, given to Raymond Aguilera on the 16th of July, 1992, at 11.54 p.m. Chew with teeth. I'll chew with teeth. With teeth I'll chew all that is not clean. I'll chew it with teeth when the earthquake hits California. I'm going to chew everything that is evil, for what I want is what is good and clean. The earthquake is going to hit Southern California. It's going to hit Southern California because I'm going to eat everything that is revolting in Southern California. The earthquake is going to hit Northern California, for everything in Northern California is dirty also. I'm going to eat with bare teeth all that is evil, all that is not clean, all that is not mine. I just want what's clean and straight. I know the people of Southern and Northern California think a lot of themselves. They think more of the devil than their God that made everything. I'm going to hit this state with my hand, hard and straight, with a force that's going to frighten the world. I know that you don't believe me, but place it on your calendar. For when my hand hits California, you're going to know who is the God of heaven and of the world. I'm telling you before it happens because I'm just going to save those who love me, those who read the Bible, those who obey my son's word when he was here with you years ago. But the people of this state don't read the Bible. And if they do read the Bible, they read it with their eyes closed. And if they open their eyes, they change what the Bible says. For they only want to read what they want to hear. I am tired of all that is evil in Northern and Southern California. My hand is going to hit it hard and directly at all that is evil, for there are wives sleeping with men that are not their husbands, and husbands sleeping with women that are not their wives, sleeping with children, and killing children, before they are born, as if they were God, that they could kill someone just because they don't want them. I'm going to show them how to kill. For I'm going to kill whatever is evil with my hand, with the earthquake. And it's going to hit with the force that's going to frighten the world. For if they want to kill, I'll show them how I kill what is evil, dirty, and what isn't mine. I'm going to close this world, and I'm going to lock up the devil in the pit. Here comes the day that I told you in the Bible. But I know that the people of California don't know what I'm saying. For they do not read the Bible. I know the date it's going to happen. I'm telling you Christians that believe in my son and that read the Bible with their eyes and with their heart. I want them to drink and eat the mass of my son if they want to save themselves every day. For I have already placed the date that it's going to happen. I'm going to give my son a chance to send this prophecy to the churches and to the newspapers. For I want my saints to hear the word before it happens. But I have already placed the date it's going to happen. So don't say that you weren't told. For I'm going to clean the state of California with my straight hand, with my hard hand. Don't say I didn't tell you. You people who close your eyes and bury your head under the ground so you won't hear the word of God. For I'm going to bury your head and your body under the ground because you closed your eyes and your ears. Since you like to bury your head, I'm going to help you. I'm tired of everyone that thinks they know it all. They kill all the little ones before they are born, and when they are born they mistreat them. They don't feed them, they hit them, and they don't take care of the children that I gave them with my heart. With tears in my eyes, with the tears of my son, with the tears of the Holy Spirit, I have told you the word of your God, the Father, who made the world and stars in heaven. I'm tired of everything that is filthy in California. The tears of my children are filling my ears full of tears, of crying for help. I'm going to take off my gloves and I'm going to show you who is God. Women believe that their bodies belong to them. I'm going to show them who owns their bodies. I give them children and they kill them and kill them. They think they're God, for they say it is not the right time to raise children. They think they are God. I'm going to bury them in the same hole they buried all my sheep that didn't have a chance to grow up and pray to their God. For the mind of California is, it's filthy, and I have told you the truth. My son Raimundo is going to begin to send the prophecies to where I tell him. And if you think Raimundo is crazy, 
I'm going to show you how crazy he is when I hit California with my heavy hand. For when I say something, it gets done. You have a chance to repent and clean your ways. You have to eat the mass every day if you want to save yourselves from the earthquake. I'm telling you the truth with my straight and clean lips. I don't like what I have to do, but the devil is eating the state of California. I'm going to clean all that is of the devil. For no one has respect for God that made heaven the world with the stars. If you have brains and if you love your God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit and your Father, clean your mind, clean your mouth, now, this minute, for you're not going to have the chance if you wait until tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring you the pit. This is your Father telling you the truth with my Son Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So don't be frightened when it happens. For I have already told you straight with my lips. For the same thing that happened to the cities in the Bible with the earthquakes is going to happen to California. The ground is going to open and it's going to eat all that is dirty until the stink of bodies will make your nose want to hide from the smell of what's dead. I'm telling you the truth. For your God doesn't lie. Your God is the God of everything that's clean and I'm going to clean up California. For the state is very filthy with the devil. Did you hear me, people of California? I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to say it once more. I want you to repent of all your sins. Today, this minute, I want you to eat the mass every day. I want you to stop killing my children. I want you to stop doing everything that is evil, that is contrary to the Bible that my son Jesus said to you. The day of the pit is here, and if you don't hear me, that's the thing you're going to have to live with, if you live. I know these words that I'm saying are harsh, but they are straight and to the point. For I won't say pretty words for your ears. For what you are doing isn't very pretty for my eyes and ears. I don't care if you believe me or not. For there's nothing that you can do. For I am God and I can do what I want with what is mine. I'm going to hit California with my hand hard and to the point to the south and to the north, for I'm going to clean the state. If you live in California, you won't be able to hide. For where can you hide from your God? The ground is going to eat you if you don't repent of your sins. This is the truth. Did you hear me? Or do you still have your head under the ground waiting for it to eat you? The words are hard that I'm telling you, but that's what I have to do. For you're not going to clean yourself up so I have to clean you and the state of California. For the ways of man are evil and are of the devil. Here comes the pit to California. Here comes the pit to California. The rest of my saints that are living, I want you to pray for your families, for your friends, for your husband, for those that living to the left, to the right of your house, for those that live above and below, for all those you love. I want you to pray with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your spirit. In that way, with your prayers, you can change the minds of those that are around you. If you want to save them, if you love them, pray for them. The churches of California are doing nothing. They are asleep. And I, the God of heaven, of the world, I'm going to awaken them. If you want to save yourself, I want you to eat the mass and to pray every day. And I don't mean once or twice a week. I want you to pray every day with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your spirit. For you have been asleep for many years, and you haven't done a thing that my son told you to do. You only do what you want. You read the Bible in the way you want. You're all going wherever you want, and you don't do what my son ordered you to do. There are my sheep living in the street with hunger, without clothes. They don't have anyone to take care of them. The church of my son is asleep and they're only taking care of their money. I know that my words are hard, but you don't know what hard is until I hit California with my hand. I want you to start today, this very minute. I want you to fall on your knees and pray every day. I don't want you to pray for only two minutes. I want you to pray until you can't walk or talk with tears to your God. Tell him how you repent your sins because you didn't help the sheep that lived in the streets to the sheep that didn't have a chance to be born, to the sheep that are hungry, to the sheep that are sick, to the sheep that are old. I'm telling you the right way and the correct way. 
if, if you love my son, you are going to do what I tell you. And if you don't do what I tell you, I'm going to correct you in one manner or another. I will correct you. My son came with only one word. You're using the name of my son, and you're speaking with the words of man. And there are so many men in California, and there are so many churches in California. My son spoke straight with only one word. Did you hear me, Christians of California? Eat the Mass. Look for your brothers and sisters that still don't know my son, and the ones who are living in the streets, the ones who are dying in the offices of doctors without a chance to cry to their God for help. I hear them, for I see them, and your God sees everything. You cannot hide anything from your God. My heart hurts that I can't say something good so that it tickles your ears as they do in the churches. For I'm tired. For my prophets that I send to you, you chastise, and you throw them into the streets. That's a shame. For so many years I have sent my word, and the churches don't want to hear. That's all I'm telling you with tears in my heart and in my eyes, that I have to do what I have to do, for I am going to close all that is dirty. The war in heaven and in this world is going on, for I'm going to close all of it. I'm going to clean all of it in heaven and in this world, for I'm going to send the devil to the pit with all of his saints and all of his angels, for the ones who believe in the devil are going to live with the devil. That's the correct way. The ones who love me are going to live with me. Did you hear me? This is your father, the one who made heaven and the world, the one who made everything. Don't forget what I told you. Have communion every day. And look for your brothers and sisters in the streets, the ones that don't know me, the ones who need help. And pray every day. For I read the heart, I don't read the lip. For I don't care what the lip says. I know what's in the heart. That's all your father is telling you on this date, at this hour, with my word, with my son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>